Brendan Walsh has two in the Saturday Stakes card here at Keeneland. Let's first talk about Extravagant Kid in the Shaker Town. Um, how's he coming off his last race? Great, uh, Tom. His last race was very good. Um, he seems like he's been training really well since. And, uh, you know, he's given us all the indications that he's sitting on uh, on his uh, his best race again. So that should, uh, should be good enough to put him right there. A little bit of uh, rain this week, so the turf won't be as firm as we might have expected. Does he have any particular preference? I don't think so. I think he'd, he'd go on any ground. He's run well, you know, on with ease in the ground in the fall. I think even the last day at Churchill he ran might have been a little... Uh, a little ease in the ground as well, but I, I don't think the ground's going to be an excuse for him. Let's move on to the Coolmore Jenny Wiley and La Signari. Uh, last race, uh, impressive run in a, in a tough group. What did you like about what you saw? You know, Tom, she, she seems like she's moving forward all the time. Um, she's, she's been a tricky filly to train, but, but she's been getting better and better all the time. Her work's been very good. I thought she ran great in the mint jewel. She was a little a little unlucky not taking anything away from the winner um you know but she only got room right at the end to run and she really finished fast so you know if she can reproduce that then you know we're hopeful she'll run well and we're hopeful she'll be right there as well what's the key to her having her best chance i think you know there's there's looks like there's plenty of pace in the race i think she needs that uh, where she can sit in behind pace and, and get her to drop her head and come with that late uh, late run and with eight runners she should have plenty of running room as well so it looks like it sets up good for her